Now, relative truth. It's easy to think that um, there are absolute truths. Now, I remember I spoke to uh, Don Cupid, Cambridge philosopher, at one time. And I said, you know, isn't the supremacy of love an absolute truth? And he said, the interpretation of love is uh, what's crucial here. And if you take a Victorian husband, and uh, he might pamper his wife and put her in a gilded cage, give her everything, every little tidbit she wanted. Um, now was that love, to keep someone in a gilded cage? I mean love today would be thought of as letting someone have their wings and do what they wanted to do. So even, even something as fundamental as the supremacy of love is not an absolute truth because uh, it's how love is interpreted. So all truth is relative. Now if we took, for instance, when I was on the farm, I would have my truth and the farmer would have his truth. And uh, he would have one perspective. You know, his perspective might be to get the overdraft down or to work towards a nice retirement. And my perspective might be to, um, you know, to be able to do uh, do farming stuff and drive the big tractors and and uh, the baler and that sort of thing. And um, you know, I would think that there were better ways of doing things, and he would have his experience, and he would think that he would think his ways were better. And then he would try and communicate things to me, what the jobs were. And I would do them, what I thought he said. But he would say, no, I didn't mean you to do that. I meant you to do something else. Because somehow the communication had broken down, you know. He, he, he'd spoken from his perspective, and I'd received it in my perspective. And uh, they were both, they were both, he was true in his, his idea, what he'd said, and it was true what I'd heard. But uh, somehow the communication had broken down, and, and the truth was relative to each of us. And quite often we'd have a big argument then about uh, which was true. <laughs> but um, was there an absolute truth about it? Or was there only a relative truth about it? I mean, in a way, he, he had absolute truth, didn't he? Because he had the authority. He was the boss, and I was the worker. So does the boss always have the absolute truth? Um, I don't think there was any absolute truth. And uh, this is the world we got to live in, a world without any absolute truth.